Hey, so 2021 is going to be a crazy year for social media marketing for real estate businesses. Instagram itself has gone through so much change. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing what you should expect from Instagram in 2021. Woo, hello, 2021. And how you can leverage this powerful app to continue growing your real estate business this year. And hey, if we haven't met yet, my name is Stephanie Lugo and welcome to my channel where I share the latest in tips and strategies for growing your real estate business with social media marketing and beyond. If you're into that kind of thing, be sure to hit subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon to be notified every time I'm dropping new content just like this. Okay, so if you've been following me for some time, you know Instagram is a huge way that we generate business for our real estate team. And social media is just going bonkers in 2021. So Instagram itself, they've gone through tons of changes. I've got my four things, four tips for you that you need to be on top of this year in order to grow your real estate business on Instagram. All right, number one, you have to get on top of short form video, i.e. Reels. So Reels was a huge new feature that was unlocked, I guess, or presented by Instagram in August of 2020. It's basically Instagram's response to TikTok. And before you roll your eyes at me, it is such a fantastic feature. I love Reels in terms of getting in front of new audiences. And I think it is absolutely a perfect medium for real estate agents to grow their authority in their markets on Instagram and off the app as well. Well, now reels are all about being fun, fast, and valuable, right? And valuable can mean a couple of different things. It can mean being motivational, educational, inspirational, or just plain entertaining. So I'm gonna have another video coming up all about reels and a couple of different ideas that you can use for topics on what to create reels about. But I want you to start thinking about how it should go. If you haven't watched my last video about reels, be sure to check that out. And if you haven't yet, definitely be sure to hit subscribe to this channel so you see my next video where I'm gonna share topic ideas specifically that you can use for reels coming up. But here's what you really should know about Reels. There has never been a feature on Instagram that I can remember in using it for my business for almost seven years now, where they are actively pushing it out, pushing that content out into new audiences, new groups of people who don't know you exist yet. So in terms of growing your audience and finding new followers who can then become real clients, Reels is your ticket in 2021. And so if you've been on the fence about trying it or you think it's kind of cool, but you're afraid, I want you to pull the trigger on this. You should be doing reels at least once a week. Again, I have lots of ways to help you through this. So stick around on how we're gonna help you make that happen, but I want it to be top of mind in 2021. All right, number two, my 2021 tip for you is to be focusing on shareability. What does that mean? So a lot of times when we are posting to the feed or um, creating other kinds of video content on Instagram, we kind of overlook the shareability aspect, meaning your primary goal for 90% of your posts should be to encourage your audience who sees that content to share it with others. There's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Number one, you can break this down in the way that you're actually generating that content, meaning focus on types of content that just naturally get shared more often. For me, and you can see this example here, carousel posts have been doing really well in terms of shareability. Now, if you have a business or a creator account, you can see your insights here, but basically if you what you're looking for is people sending it to others using that little paper airplane icon, which is, allows them to send your post to others on the account or on the, the app, or saving it. And there's again, a little icon that you can click save for any post. Those are the two things that we really wanna be doing. And so I find that these carousel posts work really well. A carousel post is just a post to your feed with multiple different images or video clips uploaded, right? So you can kind of swipe through them like a carousel. Um, but I go a step further and the way that I make this really shareable is by adding in really digestible, valuable information 
or really relatable, fun information. So this is why you see quote posts doing really well or memes doing really well. Those are easy, relatable moments that can go viral on Instagram very quickly. But we can take that aspect of virality and still bake it into our own social media profiles um, as real estate agents. And so one thing that you might consider is just doing FAQs in meme style carousel posts. For this example, like I mentioned, I just focused on a question that I'm hearing really often from my buyers and sellers, and I created a swipeable response to that question, a really digestible, information-rich piece of content that people found helpful, and people definitely did share and save this post quite a bit. I have the insights to prove it. And so I want you definitely to try these kinds of things and focus on how can I make this post more shareable? The other way that you can make your content really shareable, whether you're creating reels, whether you're creating stories, whether you're creating posts, is to collaborate with others who can share it to their audience. Now, sometimes this is as simple as, hey, you're in a coffee shop locally, you post a cute selfie holding your coffee, you tag that coffee shop if they have an Instagram account, and hopefully because you've tagged them in the stories, they will share it to their own stories and get that in front of their audience, right? So there's a lot of different ways that you can do that either intentionally or just unintentionally get in front of other audiences in that way. That's going to be a really big way to expanding our reach organically on the app in 2021. And that's actually my third tip. Definitely create campaigns where you can cross promote with other influencers or other businesses. For example, check out this post here. There's a local company that is just blowing up on social media and they do all kinds of things from like carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile cleaning, that's kind of like the perfect accompanying vendor for a real estate agent, right? They reached out to me to see if we wanted to collab on a post um, and I basically allowed them to come into our home, provide services for us. And in exchange, I was posting some stories and some posts on our experience with them. Now, this was kind of a cool perk, right? But you can do this with businesses even without it being like an influencer thing or getting paid to do so. Not that I got paid to do that, but a lot of times I think that we might see other influencers collaborating with businesses in this way and it feels a little unattainable. You might think that you need a really large audience to do this kind of thing, but that's not the case at all. I have been collaborating with other businesses in this way since before I even had a thousand followers. And so I want you to be thinking about ways that you can create content in collaboration with other businesses and influencers in your market area so that you can promote their services, they can promote your services, and really you can just get in front of each other's audiences in an organic way to make more connections that will in turn hopefully lead to buyers and sellers in your business. All right, my fourth tip for you is keep it personal, right? Authenticity is going to be a major player in the game when it comes to Instagram in 2021. And it has been for some time to be fair, right? Like if you really think about the kinds of content that you gravitate to when you're on social media, you're looking for that raw, organic, real human connection. And that's actually one of the factors that real estate agents tend to really overlook when developing their own social media strategy. I think there's just always some kind of innate imposter syndrome when it comes to marketing your business or marketing yourself in any environment, to be fair. And I know I've definitely felt that too. However, on social media, this only works when people get to know the real you. That's why I post so much personal content to my feed. That's why I'm showing up with my face on the stories with, with my face on the camera every single day, right? Like the more you can show up as your authentic self, the more you're going to drive real human connection that's going to land on the other side of that screen and result in clients coming into your business. People wanna do business with those they feel align with their values, with those they can trust, with those they feel like they know as a friend. And so that's how you really need to be thinking in terms of coming across on Instagram. Never once have I wanted to show up, well, maybe, maybe once or twice in the early days, but really my goal is never to show up as like the know-it-all real estate agent who's absolutely perfect and knows everything and never makes a mistake. 
Like I'm learning every single day in the trenches in real estate, just like you are. And I make that very apparent on Instagram. I'm sharing my journey. I'm sharing my struggles. I'm sharing all of the different things that we're trying to figure out in this insane market right now. And it comes across as really personable and really authentic. And it really, really connects with my audience. Well, a lot of this is just understanding your values and knowing where those values align with your ideal clients. Here's an example. I had a baby 10 months ago now at the time that we're recording this and he's basically the cutest thing ever. All you have to do is go to my feed and you'll see a million pictures of him. But I post him a lot on my Instagram feed and I'm not saying that you have to do this, but I make it very apparent in my brand strategy that our family values are really important to us. And that connects with other potential clients who share that value as well. And so just last night, as I was getting ready to prepare for this session, I got a referral from somebody moving out here from like Ohio. And one of the things that they mentioned was they loved seeing our family photos because they have a three-year-old and a one-year-old very close in age to my baby. And they felt like they instantly connected with us because we had that in common and they understood that what was important to us is also important to them. And that made it a no brainer for them to hire us without ever having meeting us. And so those are the types of things that we want to be baking in in, in an authentic way, right? Like really understanding our values and beating those drums loud and proud being ourselves, being authentic, showing up the way that we want to be and being in alignment with who we want to be. And I think that the more we allow ourselves to do that on Instagram, the more we're going to be successful, especially in 2021. Psych, I know I said four tips. I've got a fifth one for you. And I'm really excited to share this one too. We are talking about captions. Now my fifth tip for you is long form captions like micro blogs. Now check out this video if you haven't yet. I did go deep on some caption hacks, ways that you can make better captions that will convert clients in your feed posts. But I think that this is going to be a big trend in 2021. I think this is going to continue. And if I had left this out of the video, I would have been really mad at myself. So I definitely wanted to make sure and note that micro blog style captions where they're very long, those are going to be it in Instagram in 2021. This is such a wonderful place, a great place of real estate that you can be putting in your value, putting in great content in a way that people will digest and read. But there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. So again, if you haven't yet, check out that video where I walk you through exactly how to execute this in posts on your feed and or reels because you can do some pretty good captions on reels too. So check that out and really focus on honing in those skills in terms of creating long form captions on your feed posts. All right, that's what I have for you today. And I wanna know which of these were aha moments for you. Tell me in the comments what you are going to definitely dive into from these five tips in 2021. I think these trends are going to be really strong on Instagram this year. And I think that if we can leverage these, we will find more success. So tell me which ones you're definitely going to be honing in on this year in the comments. I can't wait to chat further there. And hey, if you are excited to try some of this stuff out, but you need a little help, you don't have to go it alone. Check out my mentorship program, which is available to agents all around the country and a little bit beyond, where I can help you figure out these strategies for yourself in your business. All the details are below to apply to that. Book a time to chat with me. We'll see if working together is a good fit. And hey, maybe you'll be next to triple your business in 2021. Don't forget to hit subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and turn on that bell notification icon to be notified every time I'm dropping new videos just like this. The next one coming up is going to be all about reels topics. So definitely do not miss that. Thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, keep on crushing it.